All right, team, so Gary Thomas from Wiley Sprocket here. So I came down to Kiva Juice. We're gonna talk about the square terminal, the new square terminal, and just some practical uses of the terminal and where we see the terminal fitting in to our business. And so let's go ahead and let's talk about a couple things right here. So one thing to take a look at is that we have our traditional square stand right here. The square stand, and it says most of you have seen, you know, it swivels around. It's really uh, efficient and quick for uh, ringing up customers. It doesn't take up a lot of space as the point of sale system. We've got the cash wrap right there. It's ready to go. Now, if the stand ever fails, um, we can use a secondary device. In this case, all of our stores have iPhones or we can use an iPad mini, which is what we use as the manager's personal computer as a secondary device. And these come in really handy when a customer calls in an order or a customer, there's a line of customers that makes it really, really efficient to go out and help those customers. Um, the one downside about these is that uh, pr uh, printing to a, a uh, kitchen printer, um, unless you're using Bluetooth, um, is not very uh, efficient. And so because of that, we only use these as an emergency for maybe call-in orders. The traditional iPad stand is what we use to ring up the vast majority of our sales unless there's a reason to go to a secondary device. And the other thing I will tell you is that all of these devices here are logged in under the same account. So whatever I ring up here is gonna go to my iPad and we'll show you that as well. So check this out. So if I were to go in right here, I've got my iPad mini. So we've got our iPad mini right there and we've got our square stand. I can go in here and I can go and I can ring up a uh, mango monster smoothie and uh, we'll go ahead and add the whey protein to it. And as we add the whey protein, I'm gonna go ahead and save this order. Let's say this customer went ahead and called ahead, called in and they said, hey, I wanna order a, uh, a um, monster smoothie to go. We could go ahead and save that order into the iPad. Now, when the customer came in, this uh, maybe it goes into the back or somebody's doing inventory and I go back to my open tickets right here, I can see that both devices are tethered. And in this case, we'll go ahead and start the cash drawer uh, and I can ring that device up right here. So that's really cool. So now let's talk about Square Terminal and where this beauty fits in. Uh, first, when you take a look at the interface here, when we look at the difference between Square Terminal and a regular iPhone, now this could be, and this is an iPhone 5, but it could be an iPhone 6, an iPhone 7, an iPhone 8, an iPhone 10. The interface is exactly the same, even in most Android devices, it's exactly the same. So if you're used to using an iPhone and you don't really have a whole lot of volume, you're not gonna have a lot of need for uh, the square terminal. This device is gonna work out just perfectly for you. But here's some really cool differences. So let's say that you have a line of customers out here and we're gonna go out with our terminal and we're gonna greet these customers and we're gonna make sure that we wanna take orders on the fly. But we also wanna be able to print those orders so that we can send them to the kitchen. Well, or you wanna print receipts or whatever you wanna do. So if I were to go ahead here and I were to order a pineapple splash, and so we'll go ahead and order a pineapple splash, and I'm gonna go ahead here, and I ordered two of those. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put my name in there, Gary, and if I save that, as soon as I save it, it's gonna print the ticket, it's gonna print the ticket right there, and I'm gonna take that ticket, and it will actually stick on the blender, just like that. So this is a very similar system uh, to what Starbucks does and a lot of uh, uh, juice or coffee shops do where you wanna keep track of every single order, um, having that ticket print out is absolutely fantastic. And so where this is gonna make a lot of sense in our convention business or even when our stores get really busy or if I wanted to eliminate this altogether, wow, um, this is gonna do everything. It's got the chip reader, it's got the swiper, it's got everything I need to eliminate 
this guy. It's this whole register built in. Square terminal, you've got this massive array of cables here and it can be somewhat daunting, but I've, I've done a pretty good job at figuring out what each one of them does. This basically is your, uh, is your power brick right here. So usually we tuck that uh, underneath the counter. Um, this is your hub. And so the hub, you've got uh, an ethernet port and you've got USB ports. So if we go ahead and plug the hub, so, so we went ahead and we plugged it in, and now we're gonna take our USB printer and plug that guy in right here. And so we're doing this above ground, just like that. So now, there's a couple things that I can do here. Uh, I can have, uh, I can use the existing printer that is on this device. So if I wanted to eliminate all of this right here, I can use the existing printer right here and we can go into things like with the printer. And then what I wanna do is I wanna look at external printers. I can set that up if I wanted to and I can do order tickets there. So we can actually set up a separate printer So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna select the printer. Boom. And there it is. So now I connected a printer to my, uh, to my square terminal. And you might wanna do this because these printers have a lot more paper that they hold. Um, if it's a dedicated POS system that's replacing all of this, you might wanna go ahead and do that. Um, for our situation, um, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna leave them both set up here just to see what happens. So now, if I go to, uh, let's go ahead and order a Raisin Raspberry, a 32 ounce, and let's go ahead and uh, we're gonna save that ticket. If I save that ticket under Tom, just like that, we'll save it. And so now it's actually gonna print out under both. So in this situation, what I'd want to do is I'd want to go in here and disable this printer. So I can disable the internal printer here and just use the POS printer if I wanted to do that. Uh, we're not going to do that. I'm going to make sure that uh, I have a cash drawer set up. Whoa, I got my cash drawer. So here it recognizes the cash drawer. So I can go ahead here, let me do, a, let me give you a better shot here. Uh, so we'll go cash drawers, I don't have any money in it because we're closed. But if I were to hit that right there, we're gonna hit uh, cash drawer, there we go there, boom. And the cash drawer will open. Something to note about this device is that if this device is completely compatible with an existing square stand, so anybody that wants to eliminate the stand and go with the terminal, uh, this, this terminal will work with all of your existing equipment. There's nothing else that you need to buy. But what you need to remember is, if you're just buying the terminal, if you're just getting this guy right here, you're gonna wanna purchase a USB cash drawer. Uh, you, um, the USB cash drawers are designed to plug directly into the, uh, the hub here. If you don't do that, what is gonna happen is you're, you're not gonna have cash drawer functionality. Um, if you have the old traditional cash drawers, which is this guy right here, these all connect to the printer. Little phone cable thing right there. The cash drawer connects to the printer, which connects to the, to the, to the square hub. And in this situation, um, if you just buy this in itself, and you want to use the internal printer and a cash drawer, you're going to have to get a USB cash drawer. So that's one thing that I found out. Uh, but it, th this device will completely, uh, will completely eliminate the need for having a square stand. And just imagine the possibilities. Just imagine this being the only thing on the counter when your customers walk in. I mean, talk about changing the customer experience. So this 
becomes the customer experience, not this. Folks, the Square Terminal is a game changer, and I look forward to sharing with you more videos. We've got some conventions coming up. We're gonna use this thing live with customers, so stay, stay tuned and follow the channel.